Hello guys and welcome to another adventure story channel video. Today we will I have a special video for you and you will see what you can face in the engine room, okay? You can face everything, but maybe that thing which I show you you will never face, okay? This is very important. So, it's better to know to avoid some things and it's better to know because the knowledge can save us okay guys today we will see the air condition unit for the engine control room okay in this ship i was uh, very interested and i have some thoughts about the system that they put and they have two units, two air conditioning units inside engine control room, okay? But the unit itself was, uh, each unit was very small for the space, okay? I don't know, maybe the company made some economy or they have some different uh, uh, in mind. I don't know what they really make. But uh, the problem was that if one unit goes off, the other unit cannot cool the space, okay, of engine control room because everything there, the cables, the, it's very hot, the panels, okay, everything is on and also the weather of the engine room, you know, the temperature of engine room, it's very hot, okay, everything is just burning. So, what we face, we face our compressor, this one, okay, this is a new one the blue one was burned okay instantly burned instantly okay nothing works the protection was not work okay not safe and the compressor okay was start the problem really the problem was in the valves the problem how we find that okay the problem was in the valves, really. Uh, and that problem, what is happening? When your compressor starts, the pressure increases slightly, slightly increase, and after that your compressor cannot increase more pressure, okay? It's working without any load and uh, the pressure goes back, back pressure, so the protection after will trip your compressor okay that's how it works and that will happen but the main problem was the valves okay to burn the compressor to mo the motor it's a little bit difficult okay you will burn if your protection is not working but in that case it was working okay we'll order a new compressor okay which is coming uh, ready okay like this with foots here with uh, support but the problem was that uh, the manufacturer of this compressor he makes some different design okay he make the suction and the discharge in different uh, positions so there was uh, for us to solve uh, some we need to solve some uh, equation, okay, <laughs> to make this. We need to weld pipes here. Also, some pipes never arrive, okay, because we was passing uh, Cape Town, and this uh, ship Sandler he forget uh, these pipes to deliver. And some of the pipes which come was already broke. But anyway, we fix that. We make welding here here this is the connection and uh, also from here you can isolate your compressor okay and then okay here it's test for vacuum here it's a connection for the vacuum the vacuum just occur there okay and let's go here okay here you can see you can close with this connection you can isolate your and from here it's going 
to the pressure here okay we have some points for pressure cut off okay and start and also some of them goes here some of the pipes go there for indication of the vacuum and the pressure of discharge okay and the difference also was here we can see the oil we have a side glass and one moment okay here is the suction here is the suction this is the cooler okay the suction is made by this pipe and going here low and the discharge is here okay already you can see the pipe have smaller diameter this is the discharge the frame coming gas here it's compressed and then it's go compressed liquid okay it turns to liquid this is the supports for the vibration okay very important to check after to make a vacuum and to check also if the vacuum keeps and also check with soap water to put in the connections and to see if there are any, bu any bubbles coming okay okay this is a small cooler which is called cooled with fresh water from LT uh, system LT system low temperature fresh water system okay after you make the vacuum you test everything but everything is uh, in good condition also we put here some valves as you can see there is a valve to isolate and to remove this dehumidifier okay if it's necessary here it's uh, the exchanger heat exchanger these cool downs and they're passing through here okay this is the expansion valve it's located here and the expansion valve takes the reading from here you can see here in this side it's isolated okay takes temperature from here and regulates how much it will open okay as you can see if the sensor is located on the outlet okay on the outlet if this it's hot this gives signals here by a liquid okay this is a capillary pipe and gives signal to open okay just press the expansion valve there and more freon is passing and this one it's the humidifier it's filter which remove any humidity from the system isolating valves if you like to isolate and here also is one isolate valve if you like to change your heat exchanger it's better to have more isolate valves and uh, for the reason okay they must be properly set in the position must be calculated so if you like to change something you do not need to drain your frame okay freon also you have temperature indicators here and let's see and after this test as you can see the vacuum it's high enough you can uh, fill the oil Okay, you can feel the oil here inside. Uh, and then you can fill with Fran the system. The quantity for each system is specified, okay? You cannot put whatever, uh, whatever quantity you want, okay? This is very, very important. And also this kind of uh, equipment, they work at specified frames because uh, they have some pressures okay these freons have pressures at which they works and all the machineries have each own uh, freon okay 
you cannot put whatever you like maybe it will work but it's not correct okay just check the labels check the manufacturer the instructions what did he bring to you very important is guys remember that to work with these systems do not set them at very very cool uh, set point okay if your we say that if your seawater temperature okay it's about 32 degrees okay 32 it's better to set your uh, air condition to 25 26 not 17 not 18 because you work your equipment on the limits okay and we don't like this if you set just imagine to 17 okay how many hours your compressor will work to achieve this and maybe your compressor will never achieve this so your equipment will work and work and work and work and work and running hours will be more and more okay and this what is happening there okay that your equipment became older and the service of uh, service life will be limited okay uh, next very important is okay if it's listening some manufacturers or ship builders is to set little bigger air conditions okay so they can handle everything must be calculated so they can handle and have about 15 or 20 percent more efficient okay than uh, it requires okay if somebody calculates let's say uh, that it needs some BTUs let's say 10,000 BTUs to cool down a space uh, 20 cubic meter uh, 20 uh, square meters okay let's put little bigger okay okay you will have some energy losses and but your system okay the thing I like to tell that your system will be more effective okay so that just have this in your mind so guys read the instructions which is very very important do not touch your expansion valve because it's very rare to broke your expansion valve do not touch your adjustments here a lot okay and be careful what freon you feel and what oil you feel with your freons electrical components it's very very difficult to break but you never know okay so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoy to stay with adventure story channel and i will wait you for my another video bye bye guys bye bye